Chris Lacey has been named the Detroit Lions standout player this offseason. ESPN's Michael Rosestein, I'm pretty sure I'm saying that name right, I've heard it before, but basically he named Chris Lacey the Detroit Lions standout player this offseason. I thought that was very interesting, and it's really good for Chris Lacey, but let's get into a little bit why this is so interesting. So I did a top five list of players this offseason, guys that were showing out this offseason, and Chris Lacey was not on that list. Now, we have a lot of new wide receivers here, and a lot of them were playing very well. Guys like Andy Jones taking advantage of the opportunity, Travis Fulgham taking advantage, we have Danny Amendola, now that's new, Jermaine Curse, that's new. It's really impressive to see what all these new wide receivers are bringing to the table and showing us stuff that we haven't seen before. But to mention a guy in Chris Lacey, who I really haven't talked about at all, in that wide receiver class, we talk about all these wide receivers playing so well. And there's no Marvin Jones Jr. and there's no Kenny Galladay right now. And that means that all of these guys have an opportunity and Chris Lacey is the standout player of the offseason so far for Michael Rothenstein. And I thought that was pretty cool because Chris Lacey, like all the other wide receivers, are trying to fight for a position on the Detroit Lions team. And even if it's not a lot of playing time for him like he had last season, he still can make the team and you know he wants to. So he actually explained why he picked him. He said Lacey seemed to make plays almost every practice during the open spring workouts. It might be a tough way to a roster spot for a second year pro out of Oklahoma State, but he has a size slash speed component that most of Detroit Lions receivers don't. Lacey could end up finding his way onto the roster as a depth receiver. And that's kind of what he would be with the Detroit Lions, a depth guy. But he's right. When he talks about the speed and the size, a lot of Lions wide receivers don't have that. And that's very, very interesting. When you look at our wide receivers, we have Danny Amendola. Possession guy, not super fast, not very big. Curse, fast, not really big. Kenny Galladay, bigger, good size, not really that fast. So what you can see here, Chris Lacey, like he's alluding to, is that he has both. And that's very, very interesting. Now, again, this is a very young wide receiver, like Michael mentions here, out of Oklahoma State. He was with the Detroit Lions last season. So it's nice to see that Chris Lacey is getting some attention this offseason. Because, again, there are so many players trying to make the team, and they're really just trying to find a way to stand out. And it's really good for him to stand out here in the offseason. Now, does this mean he'll make the team? I'm not really sure. Like I said, there's tons of wide receivers. You have Danny Amendola, Jermaine Curse, who will probably make the team. You'll have Kenny Galladay and Marvin Jones Jr. coming back most likely so that's four and then I didn't name guys like Travis Fulgham and Andy Jones and Brandon Powell so there is so much competition so again it should be exciting to see what happens especially now that training camp is going to start we're going to see some open practices we should get more and more information on those we are also then going to get into the preseason we're going to see joint practices with the Patriots there's a lot coming up but to this point it's nice to see where Chris Lacey has done so far and I thought you know what let's talk about him a little bit let's mention Chris Lacey because it's really easy to overlook a lot of players when you hear about the new guys like you hear about a rookie it's like oh I want to hear what the rookies are doing but you really don't think about guys like this I think that happens to guys like Brandon Powell as well really don't hear a lot about Brandon Powell because he's not a rookie anymore he's with the Detroit Lions for a second season we really don't talk about him so it's nice to get his name out there good luck to Chris Lacey on making the team good luck to all of these guys but it's nice to see Chris Lacey's name get mentioned and I thought that was kind of interesting for him to be the name the guy of the standout this offseason because there's multiple guys that could have got this award but for it to be Chris Lacey very interesting. Now again, it's just one person's opinion, but it is nice to see that he is getting attention. Let me hear your thoughts in the comments below. If you guys have any, any video ideas or anything that you want me to do, make sure you let me know in the comments below. I did have the idea of doing like one of those tier lists, but just for the defenses in the NFL, so I can rank the defenses for 2019 slash 2020. If you guys want to see that, let me know in the comments below. Thank you, Brad, for watching, and I'm out.